obesity and diabetes are both closely related. We know that as the obesity prevalence is increasing worldwide, diabetes prevalence is increasing. Uh, it's a complex relationship, but in general, uh, the fat cells in the body, especially fat cells in the abdomen, uh, they are not just inert cells and they produce lots of uh, hormones and uh, fatty acids. So, uh, the more the number of fat cells, more the abnormal hormones secreted in the body. And these hormones, they cause insulin resistance. Insulin which controls sugars, these hormones which are secreted by these abnormal fat cells, they do not allow insulin to act properly and this is called insulin resistance. And this over a period of time leads to diabetes. So this is one of the mechanism how obesity and diabetes are related. In a person with diabetes, uh, uh, definitely a good lifestyle uh, counselling is required because if we uh, press upon the fact or if we stress upon the fact that uh, weight loss itself might help in controlling sugars to some extent, especially in initial stages of diabetes, uh, just by a good diet and exercise one can control uh, sugars for a long time. Um, so, uh, weight loss through lifestyle modification is the first stage. Sometimes the patients are on medications which do not allow weight loss to be that easy. So, if the patient is on medicines like sulfonylureas or on insulin, it becomes a little difficult to lose weight, that is a known fact. But fortunately, now we have a new set of medications which are either weight neutral, that is they do not cause weight gain. And in fact, we have a whole group of new medications which help in weight loss in a patient with diabetes. And it's a boon to all the diabetologists and endocrinologists because uh, this gives them an added benefit of not only controlling sugar but achieving weight loss in patients with diabetes. So, uh, we are uh, using these medications uh, in a number of patients with obesity and diabetes and that is uh, helping us in achieving the desired weight loss.